think the overall church planting process starts with building trust and relationships. So we urge our coaches to come first, even before they start training and, and the coaching kind of regular meetings and just meet, meet, the, co meet, meet the leader. Buy him a good food <laughs> or a good glass of something <laughs> and, uh, and just talk about life. Be, be friend, uh, be interested in the person, not just in the project. Because it's so, you know, you rarely find people who are interested in you and not just in your project. And, and, uh, and we believe that it, it, this, you need that quality. And then, of course, after clarifying expectations, uh, mutual expectations, uh, we also ask coaches to, to meet not only the individual church partner, but also the, the, the team, the team, the whole team, because you never have a full picture of, of the leader without seeing him in, in the context of his team or, or church plan. So, so we urge church planters to, to to build relationship with the whole team and also ask them about the topics and challenges they see because very often the topics that the leader has and the topics that the whole team has are, are different uh, and you need to address, address, address both. But then it's just about setting the regular pattern how or, or, uh, of, of meetings. We, we expect our coaches to meet or to have a Skype call at least uh, at least once a month for 60, 90 minutes, uh, and uh, and then we expect them to meet in person with with the with the team leader and his team maybe once every six months, and then coaches also help help their teams to uh, to be very specific in their planning uh, because very often teams tend to be either uh, either aim too low or too high. You know something that they would do anyway, or something that they will never achieve. So, how to help them to to be realistic, but at the same time have a kind of a face stretch <laughs> in, in in what they want to achieve, and uh, and that's and then they they meet them, they coach the, the 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 team leader, the team, and at the end of the process of training that takes in in our case about two and a half years, is also responsible to help them to build. Uh, accountability for the future so find maybe a future mentor or someone who will go with them even after they finish the, the whole training process uh, and also helps them to 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 write a plan maybe for next two years and gives recommendations what they should focus on what are the strengths and weaknesses so that's the kind of the big picture process